And welcome back to Behind the Numbers. I'm Dave Bookbinder, and today we're talking about getting the numbers right with Ian Schnoor, who's the Executive Director of the Financial Modeling Institute. And uh, Ian, I want to kick off this second segment on a lighter note. I want to get outside of the numbers altogether. Um, so uh, when Ian and I were doing our, our prep call conversation, uh, it was made clear to me that Ian is in Toronto, and one of my favorite exports from Canada is a band called Rush. And um, I always have those conversations, and it uh, turns out that Ian has a little interesting connection to Rush, which uh, also has an affiliation with another one of my favorite topics, beer. So um, how's that for a segue? Ian, why don't you tell everybody what I'm talking about? Isn't it amazing we're going to be able to tie together financial modeling, a R Rush, a Canadian rock band, and beer, and make it all relevant? This uh, is a mic yeah, drop yeah. moment day for me. <laughs> well, the um, the way that those three things all tie together is that you know, we've been talking about modeling and the importance of forecasting um, and the importance of building really clean, powerful tools to make decisions. And a number of years ago, uh, some of my friends were guys in the beer industry and decided to start a brewery. One was a brewmaster, one was a beer marketing guy, and the other was a beer sales guy. But to start a brewery, they needed some numbers and they needed a forecast and they needed to go to the bank and get some loans and they needed to secure uh, a lease. So they needed someone to help with numbers. So uh, they asked me if I would come in. Um, to help them with a model and I built the model for them to help them build to understand and to create clarity. Uh, we took that model to I am now as a result a, a shareholder uh, of this brewery. The brewery is called the Henderson uh, Brewing Company, Henderson, and uh, it's right in central Toronto. If you're ever in Toronto, we've got a tap room that you can check out. So I'm a shareholder and I'm actually the chair of the board as well. And, uh, and so our model was used to help secure the bank line, the initial bank line. The bank said it was you know, one of the nicest models they'd ever seen. It really helped facilitate the process and it allowed the landlord to get confident in our business plan and, and, uh, and lease us the space that we wanted. And then a couple of years ago, we created a collaboration beer with the band Rush. And I told this to David and here's one of the cans here. This is our Rush. It is a beautiful Canadian golden ale. And I've got a couple back here. Um, but we have got a collaboration with the band, and if you have a chance to check out the Rush Beer, I think you will enjoy it. But it was off the backs of our models that we were able to get the brewery going. That is a phenomenal story. I can't tell you how much I love it, and uh, I'm so excited we're able to share that here with our audience. So thanks for that. 